In recent times, the country suffered insurmountable loss of life and property due to natural disasters. In order to be prepared to face these natural disasters, the Disaster Management Centre, the Asia-Pacific Alliance for Disaster Management, together with Gammadha, organised the programme of raising awareness. These programmes will take place in the Mathara, Ratnapura, Gaul and Kalutara districts across three whole days starting from Saturday. <laughs> A program will take place in Kandura at 9 in the morning, in Markandura at 1 p.m. and in the Morawaka area at 4 p.m. An extensive discussion will take place how to be prepared for floods and measures that need to be taken to face a flood situation. Behind me is the Kaluganga which flows right through the Ratnapura town. Twice a year, the Kaluganga overflows and the people face a disaster situation thereafter. Gammadha has organised a special programme on being prepared to face such disasters. On Saturday, the teams will be in Dimiyava, Batagadara and Marapana areas for these awareness programmes. The Disaster Management Centre and the Asia-Pacific Alliance for Disaster Management will serve as resource personnel for this programme. The Disaster Management Unit will select the most vulnerable areas based on the districts and engage in an awareness program. In addition, the people will be educated on safe routes, escape routes, safe zones, as well as danger zones during a time of disaster and this is being done ahead of the monsoon season. We request the people to use this knowledge and make use of this opportunity. In addition, it is important for them to pay attention to the messages issued by the DMC and respond accordingly. The years 2016 and 17 saw over 500 fatal deaths during the floods and landslides in Sri Lanka. The cause for this being the lack of preparedness and the lack of education given to the general public. Keeping this in mind, APAD Sri Lanka partnered with the GUM at the program, which has a vast reach to the grassroots level over the past few years. In contributing towards this initiative, which focuses solely on the zero-death concept for 2018,